Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to 314 Sports Talk. The NBA Finals are upon us, so I'm going to give you my way into depth NBA Finals predictions, so let's get into it. Game number one, Steph Curry goes off. He starts dominating Kyrie Irving and anyone that the Cavs try to put on him, making shot after shot and raining in everything. But at the other end of the court, Kyrie Irving is struggling. Playing in pretty much his first finals appearance, it definitely shows. Getting guarded up by Curry and Clay Thompson and getting stopped every time. LeBron James, though, he wants it. And he will do it all for the team. But at the end of the day, it's just not enough as the Golden State Warriors take game one, 111 to 105. Game number two is more of the same. Steph Curry reigning in threes, Klay Thompson reigning in threes. The Splash Brothers open up a big lead and don't really look back. Curry erupts again, going off on Kyrie Irving. Kyrie not really being able to do much to contain him. At the other end of the court, the only reason it's close is because of LeBron James, but this time his teammates don't help him out as they miss shots and make him do it all himself. People like Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith just struggle at the offensive end of the court, getting dominated by the bigs and the guards of Golden State. Kyrie Irving continues to struggle, making it worse and worse, and the Golden State Warriors annihilate the Cavaliers in Game 2. So the Cavs hold a team meeting. They need to figure out what's wrong, and it certainly works as the b bigs of Cleveland finally get going, and so does Kyrie Irving, playing very well and beating off his man every time. Steph Curry struggles this game, though, as it seems like the Cavs are starting to get into his head, and Kyrie Irving is locking him up. Because of this, the Cavs win this game 117-98, to a blowout going into Game 3. And Kyrie Irving continues to dominate, finding open men and driving to the basket hard. His team, his team is looking good as he can make his shots now and not have to worry about just struggling. But you know who's struggling is Steph Curry, taking contested shots and missing too many of them. He needs to start looking for his teammates more, and because of this, the Cavs will win this game 107-93, to meaning that it will go back to Golden State. And now Steph's dialed in. He starts making shots again with the familiar backdrop of the Oracle Arena. But LeBron James, he doesn't want to lose either. And he will do anything, and I mean anything, to keep the Cavs from another disappointing title defeat. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the role players. And the role players for Golden State get it done more than them for the Cavaliers. And the Golden State Warriors will win by 2, 102 to 100. Now game six of the NBA Finals, as it looks like it's going to be a close game. But LeBron starts Kobe Bryanting, meaning taking every shot for himself. And unfortunately for the Cavs, he doesn't make many of them. But you know who's making them now? is Steph Curry. He starts getting hot, and he is draining all of them. If anything, that prompts LeBron to shoot even more shots and put the ball on the ground even more, committing turnover after turnover and forcing up bad shots that he doesn't have to take. I mean, his supporting cast, though, isn't doing much to help him out, and the Warriors start to run away with this one in the queue as the Cavs get booed off the floor. And the Golden State Warriors win this one 119-193, meaning that they again repeat as champions of the world. It was a hard-fought effort, but Kyrie Irving struggled, and that's where it really came down to. Steph Curry, apart from games 3 and 4, had an unbelievable finals. He averaged 26 points and 9 re assists. As you can see, he won the MVP, and Golden State is on top of the world once again. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to leave your comment on who you think is going to win in the description below. That's all, and I'm out.